Okay, on this video we would like to engrave a lot of signs like this one uh, where uh, I need to have a text okay to define uh, the position something here. as we have a lot of signs and we need to create a lot of text then uh, I will show you how we can uh, make this very fast under uh, type edit v13 so first here we have create all signs that we want to try and grab okay second Second, I have a create with uh, the Excel a list of the name that I want to use. And then I will save on here yeah, the I will save the text. Just give not uh, XLS, but I will write text. Select this one, okay, using logo. Yes. When I do that, I can have a look on the logo files. So when I open the logo.txt uh, file, I will have this list of names with a separator. Okay. I come back to type edit and then I will use here in the cam first a logo variable. This is a new function under V13. I will uh, here have the bounding box of the logo I will uh, get. I will place, I will um, change the size to this one. And then I will place somewhere here. I will create then a second variable, which is the text, okay. And from this, I will set up by everything means uh, the height, the position. So X will be at zero, as I asked before. And here, dot five. Okay. So this is the first step of uh, the job. Now I need to fill uh, or enter uh, the input data. To do that, I will click on this icon, entering variable. You can see here I have a list of two variables, which is name and logo. I have just create. For the logo here, I will import, in fact, by shift, all the symbol that I want to engrave. Okay. You see here it appears in the list. And for the text, I will just import a series. It will be here. I can see that the constant will be used for the column separator is this one. Uh, with uh, the line separator, which is return, okay. And you can see here all the text that I want to use and it will here yeah, appears in the list. It's also possible to define uh, more than one uh, result, means that if I have many uh, escalators or many signs that to use uh, down or left and so on, I can just click on here, okay, and change 
the number. So I will have three logo with down. Okay. Uh, I will have for left, let's say five, if I want. And for men, as I have, I don't know, um, three. Okay. And I like this. Three also, of course, here for the toilet. Um, right, I can put five and so on. So you can define here how many uh, engraving of this logo you want or not. Okay. And I end it. Next step, I have to just a multi copy, use the multi copy function. To do that, I will limit the data to the variable. I will create only one layer for each. The ordering will be not optimized because it's only one. And I will ask for no cutting lines. Okay? When I validate now, I will have the multi copy. And you can see here on each layer, I have automatically the signs plus the text. Okay. And you can see that for when I ask to have three times, you can see I have three layers with the same logo and the same text, of course, and so on. Now, if we switch to the cam and I want to make the engraving of this, okay, I can use engraving. It asks me, there is no selection. Do you want to run the computation on all layers? We can say yes. First, we need to save the name. Okay. And then we can select the tools. Let's take that one with uh, only one. 3D engraving. Uh, not skip external like this and I validate. You can see that we will compute on all layers. Okay, this is the result. If I double click to see the result, you will see this. Maybe I will just go at the end create a new one and just show you okay this is the result of this layer this is the result of this one on this one on this one on this one That's the same okay like this so it's very fast as you can see to make all the engraving for all the toolpath and now if I go to mill this, I go to machining, I collate all, okay, and it's possible to create one single file which uh, combine all this engraving in the same time. Okay, thanks.